Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at a little problem that's been driving me and Juliet mad for the last four years since we've owned the caravan. So let's take a look. <laughs> Now, this is not so much a maintenance tip, it's something that's irritated Juliet and I ever since we've owned the caravan. And what it is, it's this cutlery drawer. They've set the drawer so it only opens that far. Well, if you can see the size of my hands, it makes it difficult. Plus, you can't really see what you've got in. So I thought, well, I wonder if you can adjust this so you can get it a little bit further out, so at least you can get your hand in and actually find what you're looking for. So I've come up with a solution to it, so I'm going to show you now. So the drawer is held on the runners by two screws. There's one here and there's one on the opposite side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove those screws first of all. Now in my case I have to open the fridge door in order to actually remove this screw. So I'm going to do that off camera and then I'll come back to you when I've removed the screws. Now I've removed this screw and uh, I've thought, well let's measure it and see how much gap there is here. So from the edge of the unit to the inside of this drawer is approximately 10.5 centimetres. And what we could really do with is that being at least 15. So I'm going to now remove the, the other screw on the opposite side and then we're going to pull the drawer out and we're going to see how far we can pull it out with easy access but at the same time it'll still go away. So what I've worked out is the actual distance from the edge of the runner to the inside of here to give me this bigger gap that I've got now is actually 10 centimetres from here to here. So I'm happy with that now. Um, I could probably try uh, moving a little bit more further out but I think we might bang it and get in, it might get in the way so I'm going to leave it at this. So I'm going to take a brad all now and I'm going to insert it inside the threaded area section and just make a little pilot hole like so. Now this is only a tiny screw so it won't go through this plastic sheathing and what I'm going to do is screw that in now. So I've now attached the runners to the drawer again with the uh, original screws and the, the actual depth that I've got and space here is amazing. I can actually get my hand in a lot more. In fact, we've increased it to 17 centimetres, which is a fur size and it would help me and Juliet. And at the same time, it still closes and locks away. Well, folks, that's our fix to a really irritating problem. I'm really pleased that we've managed to uh, get that sorted. Now, it'd be great if Swift actually did watch this video, which I doubt, and they took a look at this, and perhaps the template that they have, they could adjust it a little bit more, so it'd make everybody else's uh, life easier going forward in the future. But that's for another day. Well, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you'll join us again real soon. But in the meantime, bye for now.